Hi and welcome back to Warframe. Today we're inside of Cephalon Suda here because we're going to take a look at the Ice Wave Impedance mod. Now to pick these up you have to be genius level in Cephalon Suda and I do have it so it'll be in here somewhere. Obviously not the only place you can get it from either. There it is, cost 25,000 reputation from Cephalon Suda. Or Steel Meridian you have to be general level and the buttons here somewhere and get there eventually and it should be in here somewhere it's just trying to remember where it is there it is and it costs exactly the same it's only 25,000 rep when it comes to actual gameplay with it it is affected by duration but I've been playing with it with stretch on and it seems to go a really long way like technically he's actually walking away here spoiling it Problem is, from here, if I was to cast it, it's going to go in a straight line. Oh, it actually followed the... Oh, nice. That is actually in a really nice bit of range. You're not dead. Now you're dead. It was over that way, wasn't it? It kind of cuts across. <laughs> that just looks weird. It would be nice if it made a bridge, but uh, if you try to jump onto that, it wouldn't really work that well. And... Uh, damn it, I knew that was going to happen. I even said it doesn't work as a bridge and then tried it anyway. But its main purpose is to just freeze guys. It's meant to last six seconds, but as I say, it is affected by power duration, so it will last a lot longer. Not only that, but you can cast it more than once. You can literally take a huge corridor like this and cover the whole width of it. And obviously, I kind of killed the guys with the ability at the same time because Ice Wave is affected by the Power Strength mod. So even though everything says this is not is only affected by Power Duration, because it's meant to last 6 seconds, but obviously it'll last longer than that with Power Duration in there, Power Strength uh, doesn't really affect it. Not this Augment, it does affect the ability. And Duration, oh, Duration definitely works a lot. Because it's meant to freeze them for 6 seconds, and it is definitely going for a lot longer than 6 seconds. Hang on, he's not on it, there you go. I walked off it there, because I kind of, he's on the side of it. <laughs> right, that should work a bit better. Oh, didn't see him. And any new enemy that walks across it will be affected by it, which is a really nice touch. That one uh, ancient there. It's still frozen, and I've got a guy beating me on the butt. Go away. But of course, now he's affected by the new one. So it is a really useful mod, but I couldn't really get it to work that well with the the corpus or the grenier. Because yes, it will slow them down, but they never really come out in hordes big enough to justify having something there to try and take them out. Now, when it comes to the big downsides to this mod, it has to simply be the fact that... Well, to be honest, you're going to have to sacrifice something to fit it. Oh, that thing's actually on me. You're not dead. How are you not dead? Now it's dead. Uh, if you have... Oh, another one. God damn it. I don't have any power. Screw it. Um, duration and range, to be honest, still have to stay there because if you use the bubble for any kind of defensive abilities, that is affected by range and duration. So getting rid of that, the power or duration, the range or duration mods, wouldn't work because the bubble wouldn't work. The power strength mods would stop the avalanche from working that well. I was going to call it the bubble, but I've already done the bubble. Seriously, I hate these things. Little rats. So, uh, it's just a... Uh, can you really fit this without sacrificing something? Because health, shields, armor, uh, rush, power duration, both power durations, uh, continuity and whatever the other one is. 
Can I don't remember the name of the mods offhand, to be honest. And then obviously stretch on top with a bit of streamline in there. And then this yeah, kind of one mod too many. So you do have to sacrifice which mods you do want to put in and what you're willing to sacrifice to fit it. And for me, I left in power range, power strength, and I just ditched the armor. Yes, Frost has 190 armor to start with, which is a nice amount of armor. But it's not enough. <laughs> Obviously, more armor is definitely better. So... Kind of gutted that I had to sacrifice the armor just to fit this. Whether I'll keep it fitted, I'm not sure yet. I don't think I will. I think I'll uh, take it off because it is a good mod. I do like it. It does work really well against the infected. But against the Grenier and the Corpus, by the time they've got to the point where you've put the Ice Wave down for them to be trapped by it, they should already be dead. If they're not already dead, you're doing something seriously wrong. Because obviously if you know they're going to come around the corner and you drop this down for them, that would work. But if you're in a big open room and you're putting it down for them to come down the stairs and run across that, which will obviously freeze them, why didn't you kill them on the way down the stairs? There's a lot of ways that it works, but... Oh, that was actually it. Good, let's get the hell out of here. It works, but it could have been a little bit more effective. Like, if it give it a little bit... Of, no, I couldn't even give it a power increase, to be honest. If they made it stronger. But it does work very well against the infected. It's just the Grenier and the Corvus. I just... I couldn't get it to work as efficient as I could against the infected. So, I definitely say this is one of those mods that is better against the infected. But we'll leave this off here for now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.